Hey guys, Llama here with another video. So this is going to be kind of just a very simple video. I've got a lot of things going on IRL, but I want to go ahead and get a video up. So today we are looking at a mob spawner. So in Create, there's a lot of things you can do. Well, one of the things is you can actually push mobs with a fan. So as you can see right here, I have a mob farm built. So it's a very, very simple design. So as you can see back here, we have four fans all connected to these chain drives right here. I'm using a create motor that's maxed out on speed. You can just use anything that you need. Just hook it up into your system, but make sure that it's max speed just so that you can get the fastest movement of the mobs. And then just chain drive them together. That's the easiest thing. Then I just cover them up and forget about it. So that'll push them all the way down this track right here. You can make it shorter and the fans will push at a higher velocity towards them. But I liked it being kind of long like this just so that it has more, more spawning space on it. Once I get to this end over here though, they'll get kind of slowed down towards the end. That's the only thing about fans, they just lose their velocity as they keep going. But as soon as they do, they hit these two conveyor belts right here. I went ahead and put it up to two just for spiders and such. So they get slung over, sent into this chamber that's a two by two. I'll go ahead and go in there. So they get slung into this chamber. I have these fans pushing down. This is for spiders. So spiders love to just cling onto the wall. So I went ahead and just had it pushed down. It pushes in these magma blocks. The only mob that this is not going to work on is witches. But you can just have them despawn after a while. If you want to change the way that you're killing them, you could most likely either do like a lava kill or a suffocation or even just death by falling. I went ahead and just didn't go as far. You can go as far down as you want. This part right here fully up to you however you want to do it you can make it as long as you want as tall as you want that's up to you but i have if you're using magma blocks use these this two by two of rails and just toss on some minecarts as you can see it kind of fluctuates because there's four minecarts on here and they just kind of spaz attack on here on top of these hoppers and then all the items go in this chest i actually have been afking here only about maybe an hour at most so the yields are really good for just how simple this is and how really it doesn't take much material. You can make it out of cobblestone. I use limestone just because I like the look of it. You'll want to go a good bit out just so that the mobs can spawn and such. It's a very, very basic design and you can actually make it wider. You can make it as big as you want with as many layers as you want. As long as they just fall into this chamber right here, that's the big thing. So I could add another chamber onto the bottom, onto the top or make it wider and just start sending them into this one kill chamber. That is completely up to you. That's what's cool about this create design. Ah, as you can see, there goes the creepers. You can just make it as wide as you want. So I'll be right back. I'll make it wider just to show you guys. All right, guys, we're back. So as you can see, it's this easy. You just add in the blocks around it. And I use slabs up here. I don't want the Enderman spawning because I found that Enderman spawning is actually a big problem. So the Enderman gets stuck on the conveyor belt and cannot be pushed off. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but I just went ahead and made it two and a half tall so everything else in the game spawns. You could even make it into just a creeper farm by making it even shorter and making other things not spawn. It's up to you how you want to do it. I just like this because I like being able to get all the resources I need in. But the whole design, you can do it any way you want. This is probably the cheapest way to do it, in my opinion. You can have it go into a conveyor belt that goes into a bunch of brass funnels that gets all organized and everything. That's up to you. I just made this just basic just to show off just the simplest mob farm that I could. And th this is what I came up with. Just some simple fans, a simple conveyor belt. Just add some more layers onto it if you want some more spawn rates. It's completely up to you. And you can pretty easily just transfer the power wherever you need to with these chain drives, which I absolutely love. I think chain drives are the best thing in the game because it just makes moving it just makes moving this kinetic energy around really easy. That's obviously gonna make a high stress right there, running all these fans at their highest 512 per. That's uh, that's just gonna be something you have to deal with. That goes down to how you set your power up. I use my own furnace engine, which you can find on my channel. It makes just an absolute god forsaken amount, and it's really, really good. So all in all, this is just a basic video. Like I said, I have some IRL stuff that I'm taking care of, so this is all that's going to be coming out this week. Be expecting a lot of updates on stuff. It's, it's a really, really big deal, and there's going to be a lot more content coming out in the future. 
just with everything. So I hope you guys are really, I hope you guys are excited as I am. But guys, if you do want to subscribe, that would mean the world to me. It helps you keep updated the videos. We're almost to 250 subscribers. It felt like even just a month ago, I was trying to hit 100. It's just incredible just the support you guys give. So I really do hope that you are enjoying the videos. But I will be live streaming Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, 5.30 CST. If you ever want to check me out there, I am taking a small hiatus from that. But I will be back full swing in the very very near future so hope to see you guys there hope to see you guys on the channel if you have any questions any comments let me know down below in the comments but guys i will see you all in the next video goodbye